What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so we went through all of Route 118 and 119. I beat a few trainers, bug trainers, and all that stuff, too. And now we're here in front of the Weather Institute, as you guys can probably already tell. Team Magma, waiting for us. They're guarding the, 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 the gate right there. Not the gate, the, the, the bridge, and, well... Apparently, we need to go in because there's some stuff going on. Some funny, smelly stuff going on. So let's go ahead and talk to this individual right here. And she's like, welcome to the Wither Institute. There seems to be some kind of disturbance on the second floor. But I'm a professional. I'm not easily rattled. Good girl. Good girl. Make sure to get yourself a girl like that. But then again, you'll probably never ever be able to lie. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to actually... We're actually going to be switching out our Pokemon right here because, well, I think it's time to, for a nice switch. So, as you guys probably already know, I got all of, all my team members, most of my team members that I had in previous iterations and stuff. But the one Pokemon that I want for my team is Gaia the Fierce Knight. And since I already have a Dragon-type Pokemon, I'm going to put Latios back into the box right here. That way I don't have to mess with anybody else. So... Second thing we're going to do is we're going to be healing our Pokemon because that's the way we do things here. We love our Pokemon. We got to heal our Pokemon. Okay, so... No, oh, crap. Press the, yellow, uh, press the red button here. Literally, I have a red button here for the A button. So, next is we're going to be battling a bunch of trainers. So, let's go right ahead. The boss got interested in the research they have going here. So, he set us out. Quit your meddling. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, another battle against another Team Magma member, and it's another Garant, so he will be coming out with a Mighty Enna. Alright, bring it on, a-hole. Let's go, Guy of the Fierce Knight. About to kick uh, some candy ass right here. And of course, using its trace to take uh, the, the ability of somebody else, so let's go with something awesome. Let's go with Disarming Voice, although I do have... What was it that? Something Gleam. TM99, I think. Or 100. So I can teach that to Gaia right after this. And here he... Oh, yeah, he's going to be coming out with a Machop. Or not a Machop, but a Golbat. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. All right, you wide mouth bastard. Let's go. Psychic Attack. All righty. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Ripping into everybody with the vengeance. All righty. Okay, look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Oh, and look at that. Blasted, blasted by a kid. Yes, you have been blasted by a kid. So, let's go right ahead and teach Gaia that new move that we got a while back. And if we... Yeah, it's his Dazzling Gleam. Very powerful fairy-type move. So, let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's see. Dazzling Gleam. Yes. And I'm going to take out Disarming Voice, although it is a... Uh, you can't miss with that thing. But I'd rather have a little bit more power with that. So, let's move on right here and destroy everybody. Now, this would be a place where I would actually do Mega Evolution. But, I'm going to save the Mega Evolution for a uh, for another time. And look at that. Eruption. Team Mamma Grunt would like to battle and he's coming out with his coughing. Alrighty. You guys don't learn. Poison-type Pokemon, well, even though they're effective against my Gaia, it's still a Psychic-type Pokemon. It will destroy you within an inch of your life. So here we go, Psychic Attack. Eat that. Oh, yes. Steam Egg Rolls right there for ya. Alrighty. Okay, and there goes that Team Rocket Gr or Team Gl <laughs> Team Magma Grunt. There's so many teams out there. What the hell, man? Okay, so moving on forward, we're going to go to the second floor where they said there was going to be some kind of disturbance right here. And what the hell is going on right here? Oh, it's Tabitha. Just, what is this? Did, did, did Leader Maxi know that this was going to happen? Is going to happen like this? Curse you. The precious results of my research. Give them back. Oh, shut it. And he smacks them. Wow. <laughs> Turns out that Tabitha does have a uh, pimp hand. Good for you. Good for you. Steady on. Are you all right? Just what is going on around here? Ay, 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 ay. Even I, Tabitha, I'm feeling all discombobulated. Leader Maxi, what are you trying to do to the world? To us, to Team Magma. This can never, ever be forgiven. What the hell's going on? So there's some infighting, maybe? 
I don't know. All right, so let's go battle some more Team Magma members. We're in Team Magma. We appear wherever every, any, anything rare is found. Okay, whatever you say. Right here on Dragon Ball Z, Draven will be facing another Grunt. Okay. What's up, Grunt? And he's got himself a Numel. I do have my uh, Vesuvius in line just in case. Alrighty, look at that simple, simple stuff. So here we go. Dazzling Gleam. The fairy type Pokemon's Flash uh, or uh, Solar Flare. And here comes that Flame Burst and Crud. Look at that. Not so much damage, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's go. Psychic Attack. For the win. Eat it, Numel. Eat it. That's right. Oh, yes. Kicking ass. Ticking names. Whatever. And he will be coming out with the Mighty Yenna. So let's give somebody else a little bit of loving. Let's go with a true Pokemon right here. Let's go with Vesuvius. Okay. Vesuvius. The Volcano Pokemon. It's got two big titties on the top of his uh, back. That's right. Okay. Let's go. Let's get this. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Earth Power. Let's use Earth Power. It's been a while since I've used Earth Power. Look at that. Earth Power. Bam. Takes care of that business. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. So look at that. That's some good It's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty. So we defeated that. And, uh, well, now let us move on to the next person. I think there's... Well, there's no, he there's no item right here. Okay, so let's go and battle the female trainer right here. And what does she have to say? Huh? What's a kid doing here? Oh, you know what I'm doing here. You know exactly what I'm doing right here. So let's go right ahead and take on another Team Magma Grunt. And Homegirl coming out with her gold belt. Looking all scary and everything with a big old mouth and everything. But I got my inner focus. Do not worry. Here we go. Psychic attack. Yeah, buddy. Psychic takes care of that. Golbat is no more. And I, yeah, I do have Crobat on my team. Or I do have it. I did evolve it early on in this uh, whole walkthrough right here, which is good. I was kind of surprised that I evolved it like a level after evolved it, evolving it into a Golbat. Okay. Tabitha. Let's see what you got. Oh, he's turned around. He's like, yeah. Are you one of my fans? You're that same kid who's always popping up. I can't believe you're even following me around in my private life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's all right. Maybe I'll clear up this intensity of unpleasant feeling I have welling up inside of me by beating you in a by beating you to a pulp. All right, whatever you say, fat boy. Here we go. We're going up against another team magma grunt. Not really, but is an admin, and it's the fat boy Tabitha. Coming out with his good old camera up. Look at that. It's all looking evil and stuff. But look at that. Guy of the Fierce Knight to the challenge. Let's go with the fairy type solar flare right here. Solar flare gets it and. Oh wow. Not so effective. Wow. I... Wait, really? Fire type Pokemon? Huh. And well, its attack just risen. Has risen, I should say. And let's go with the psychic. Let's go. Finish this guy off right here. Psychic attack. Does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Suck on that. And look at that. Gaia raises his level up to level 36, which is good. And Desert Storm at level 37. And you know what? Vesuvius is following along, too. And look at that. This guy's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, you have nothing else to say. All right. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good grief, today has uh, has been absolutely nothing but stress. I can't take it, it's so unpleasant. You better listen, you stress-inducing child. When Leader Maxi's plan has been uh, executed, Twilight will fall upon the world. The primordial sea will be changed, the too desolate land, in order to, in order, or in other words, all life, child. What you think, uh, let's see, what you think in, in the face of which of is tent to come? I don't know what he's saying right there. I'm looking forward to seeing you rush into action. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Scary ass looking fat boy. That means, or the leader should be headed to Mount Pyre, which means I. I don't even know what he's. Oh, wow. Which means, okay, well, well, whatever. I already knew he was gonna go to Mount Pyre and all that crud. 
Alright, thank you. Alright, yeah, thank you, young one. You saved us from uh, quite a perch. You okay there, mate? <laughs> that truly was a slap on the face. Those thieves. What could they hope to gain by investigating the extreme weather patterns of thousands of years ago? Uh oh, but I'm forgetting myself. First, I must thank you properly for your help. It might seem odd way of rewarding you, but please take this Pokemon as my thanks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. You cannot carry any more Pokemon uh, with you currently. Why don't you come uh, to call again after you made some space on your team? But as for the data, uh, as for the data, those ruffians were seeking. They wanted to know about extreme weather conditions that ruled thousands of years ago, because of two super ancient Pokemon. One of the pair of the legendary Pokemon we know as Mighty Groudon. By absorbing the energy of, uh, that abounds in the natural world, Groudon transformed itself, or so it said. The transformed Groudon caused so much disturbance to the weather patterns that the world grew barren. The heat it created dried up, uh, dried up the oceans, and the parched land covered more and more of the planet. We refer to this uh, transformation as primal reversion. Oh wow! The result of this, uh, or of its, or wait, the result of it is the terror we call primal Groudon. Primal reversion is possible form of evolution, like you like, it. like, and yet not like mega evolution. Or is it, uh, or it has uh, been theorized, but it has never been achieved by any other, any other Pokemon than uh, the super ancient legendary Pokemon, and so it has been largely forgotten as a method of evolution. If you'll excuse us, then we'll be heading downstairs. But talk to us when you have a moment. We want to thank you as well. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so. Uh, like I said, we still we still need to get that Pokemon that he has uh, waiting for us. So let's go straight downstairs right here again. Please excuse the lagginess and all that crud. And here we go. We're gonna be going up here. And look at that. Opening up the PC. And let's go ahead and put a Pokemon back into the PC. Let's go ahead and put Vesuvius, since uh, it's been doing a lot of it's been helping us a lot. And, well, let's go back straight to the office and see if we can actually get that cool Pokemon and all that stuff. Let's see. Alright, where are you, SOB? Here we are. Okay, I would still like to thank you somehow for your help. I hope you'll take this Pokemon for your team. And here we get Cast Form. The weather Pokemon. You know, that Pokemon that changes form every single time. And we are not going to nickname that Pokemon. Cast Form is a Pokemon that changes its form according to the current weather conditions. We have many camps for them living here in the Institute with us. They help us uh, with our research of weather phenomena. Oh, that's cool. That's good. That's very, very good. Okay, so we're going to get the heck out of here. And, well, let's see. What if we talk to this guy? Hello, we've been saved, or we've been saved by your actions. What I don't understand is what is uh, what on earth is Team Magma up to? I don't know. They want to take over the world. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. First, let's go ahead and check out our new Pokemon, Chaos Form. Let's see. Forecast is its uh, effect, and it, in the Chaos Form, transforms with the weather. Unfortunately, it doesn't transform into any kind of sandy type because it is not considered uh, any kind of a uh, weather. And let's see. Of course, it has a lax nature and all that stuff, and it is Cinco de Mile as I'm recording this. And, well, it is a pretty good Pokemon to have, but I'd rather not have it on my team. So let's go right back and put this little bastard back into the PC. And actually grab the egg, because we still need to hash that little guy. Now that I got most of my team members here, let's see, where are you, you little egg bastard? Okay, so you guys are already seeing some of the Pokemon that I'm having on my team. Where, okay, so where the hell did I put the... Oh, there it is. And as you can see, I got myself a few shiny Pokemon. Now, this one right here is Azumarill. My brother actually got this Azumarill when it was a hatched as a shiny Azurill. So that right there was cool. I caught this one for him as a Noctowl, a shiny Noctowl. And my other brother, Logan... <laughs> yeah, he got himself a shiny Goldeen, which of course, you know, he kind of, uh, you know, he kind of evolved in all that stuff too. And this guy was caught, wait, hold on, let me see, how long ago was this Pokemon caught? 
Let's see, this guy was cut, wow, six years ago on New Year's Day or Eve. So let's go right ahead and get that egg and get this going right here. Okay, so that is that. Okay, and let's see, what if we talk to this guy? Oh, you dropped uh, by, uh, or you dropped by as you promised. Great, please take this then. Here it is. And we get ourselves a Rocky Helmet, a very useful item. And let's see, a Rocky Helmet damages the attacker upon contact when the holder takes damage. At the time, I dared to, uh, to take a slap, and that only totally on purpose. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, so that's a good item that we needed to get. And let's see. Wow, you're really strong. I want to be a Pokemon trainer just like you. Okay, so we got a little fan right there. Cool, 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 cool beans. All right. All right, guys, so stay tuned. In our next episode, we will be going forward and uh, finishing off this whole thing to go into, whatchamacallit, Fortree City. So, thank you. <laughs>